Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Docker Compose server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with Docker Compose as pre-installed software. So simply click on launch. And after that you would be brought to this page from where you can customize the installation of your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that simply scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. At the end simply click on I accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that you simply need to wait for the deployment process to fully complete. Now once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. But before we do that, we need to create an administrator account for the Windows Server 2019 that is installed inside our virtual machine. Now this administrator account would also be the same account that we would be using to establish that RDP connection. Now to create this account, simply click on this arrowhead icon and then click on set Windows password. And then it is going to ask you for the username, so provide yourself with a username and then click on set. It is going to take a few moments but it will provide you with your password with this particular username. So when it shows you your password, copy this password and store it somewhere safe. After that you can close down this dialog box and then click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engine. In here you would see your newly created virtual machine. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to simply copy this external IP of your virtual machine then hit windows and type a remote desktop connection and then you're going to paste that external IP in front of this computer field. Then you're going to click on show options and then you're going to type in your username and then click on connect. After that it is going to ask you for your password. So paste in the password that you had previously stored. After pasting in the password simply click ok and if prompted hit yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been established you also need to wait for the windows server 2019 to completely load as well. Now once the windows server has completely loaded, you can start using docker compose by either heading inside the command prompt or in the powershell which have both been placed on the desktop for your convenience. So let's start off by confirming the version of docker compose. So open up the powershell and simply type in the command docker hyphen compose space version and then hit enter. So as you can see that we are currently running the version 1.27.4. Now, even though docker compose has been installed within this virtual machine, we still need to install the docker engine. Now to do this, exit from this powershell and reopen it but this time as an administrator. So right click and choose run as admin, hit yes and then you are going to copy some of the lines from the link in the description box that would take you to the step by step blog post guide. Come to this blog post and come over to this section and copy all of these lines, head back inside the connection and right click within this powershell to paste those commands and start executing them. And then you need to wait for the docker engine to be fully installed in your virtual machine. Now on this last command which is start service space docker, you might get this error. But that is totally ok, you just need to restart your virtual machine. Now to do this, simply exit from this remote desktop connection head back over to Google Cloud, click on these triple dots and then click on stop and then click on stop once more to confirm your actions. Then wait for the virtual machine to be fully stopped. Once it is stopped, you need to restart it. So once the instance has been stopped, again click on more actions and then click on start and then click on start once more to confirm your action and then wait for the virtual machine to be started once more. Once the virtual machine has been restarted, you need to connect to it once more. Now once you are back inside the virtual machine, open up the powershell as an administrator and then type in the command start hyphen service space docker. So as you can see that this time around we do not get any error. Once that is done, you can freely use the docker compose. Now the next thing that we are going to show you is how to run the hello world application template from docker compose. Now to do this, simply open up the file explorer, head inside this PC head inside the C drive and in here you're going to create a new folder. So I'm going to name this folder as project. Head inside this folder and in here you want to create a new file. So for this hit windows type in notepad. Open up the notepad, click on file and then save as and then head inside the project folder and then change the save as type from text document to all files and name the file as docker-compose.yaml 
and then hit save. Once that is done, we are going to add in some of the lines from the blog post to this YAML file. So head back to the blog post and come to this section. And according to the version of Windows Server that you're running, copy the commands and paste them inside this YAML file. And then close it and save it. Once that is done, you are again going to open up the PowerShell as an admin. And then you are going to head inside that project folder by using the cd command. So the command is cd space c colon slash project and then a forward slash and then hit enter. Within this folder, you want to run the command docker hyphen compose space up and then hit enter. So now you need to wait while this command fetches the template of hello world from the web server and executes it within this PowerShell terminal. Once everything is done, you would see this on your PowerShell terminal. It says hello from docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So this is the hello world application from docker compose. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set your Docker Compose on Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.